Hey friends, and welcome to another episode of the Soul CEO Podcast. This is episode 36, and my name is Rachel Bakarik. At Soul CEO, we are passionate about helping entrepreneurs and network marketers build a profitable business without losing their family, their friends, or their soul. If you're brand new, you're wanna click follow or subscribe. I know that Apple Podcast is changing it to follow. That's what I've heard at least. And make sure that you leave a five-star rating and a review. I want to highlight one of our newest subscribers, PJ Gus, who rated us five stars and said, love it. There's so much I don't know about the tech world and branding, but I love the content and the creator must follow. Thank you. Short and sweet. It means so much to me when you guys give me some fire. I appreciate it. And if you're listening right now, do a little screenshot, share this on your Instagram your Facebook, tag me, tag some friends. Sharing is caring. You're more attractive when you share. Today's uh, episode is very short, sweet. It was from a live coaching call. We're doing Q&A with one of our Irish leaders, new, new and up and coming leaders, who is kind of getting... Um, uh, hitting some battles in her business. Not only are she in the throes of lockdown in Ireland, but she's had a stalemate when it comes to recruiting distributors. And I hope that this blesses you just some kind of simple common sense advice of how she can go out there and start enrolling more people inside of her organization. So listen, enjoy, take notes, and I hope you enjoy the show. I'm wonderful. Um, Good. I am 18 months in the business and um, I didn't even know that MLM existed. In Ireland, nobody knows that it even is a business. So when Gráinne G came to me about it first, I, I just didn't, I didn't understand it. But um, so as a person that's completely, I don't say ignorant, but you know, I just didn't know anything about it. I just did what I was told. So I did all the trainings. Read, read all the books. I'm a part of everything. I support my team. I literally tick every box. But I just have a problem at the finishing line. I can do anything. I literally can learn anything and do anything. But I, I've written up a question here and I'm, I'm just looking down at it here. And again, you know, I do the um, Les Brown, I do Tony Robbins, I do my walk in, I do my self care. Um, but I just really find myself struggling when it comes to the money-making activities. Um, I'm adding to my network. I'm reaching out to people. I'm sharing the tools. I'm following up. But I just cannot get that last part. Now, I can get the customers, but I cannot get distributors. I have. I've, obviously, I have some. But I'm at a, I'm at a super stalemate. Now... Look, at uh, anyone will say, oh, don't make excuses. But I'm going to say COVID has really affected us. And we're in lockdown since last October. Yes. And we just found out this evening that we're on lockdown until April. I wish I could so snuggle to you. Say off, to say we're pissed off is, is, is an understatement. So I'm not putting it all on that. But I know that that has changed me as a person, because I'm a good communicator, and that I, that's my gift zone, and I did the Clifton Strengths, and I am communicator, um, woo, I've written up here, uh, adaptability. So I'm good at that kind of stuff, but I can't get over the line, and I just, you know I go to your legends every week, I've been <laughs> every week there, and I'm notes and notes and notes, but I'm just stuck, and I'm super stuck. So... You have signed up distributors before. The biggest thing that I got from that, your concern, is like you want to sign up more teamies. Is that is that it? Yes. So you have in, you have in the past. Yes. What worked for them? They're all people I know. Okay. So are you saying you don't know any more people? I mean, personally, I knew all these people. Yes. So I... I, everyone that joined my business, I know, I knew them all. They're all friends or, uh, you know, people I knew. So I'm finding it hard to break out of that part. So you you've ran on. out, you've ran out, you've talked to literally every single person that you know about the products in the business. I have reached out. I have extensively reached out. 
Okay. So now I'm on coal, you know, I'm on coal market like everyone else and I'm online and I'm, you know, pushing myself out of my comfort zone and the week of uh, lives nearly killed me, but I did it. I missed one day actually. And um, so I really am trying, but I'm, I'm as afraid as I ever am about anything for some reason. Um, trying to kind of convince people because I believe it. Like uh, nobody can tell me to have more belief. I have all the belief, and um, and I believe in myself. Do you know I am a pretty confident person, but I just can't pinpoint this. I can't pinpoint it, and it's royally annoying me. Well, first thing, remember that we are not in the business of convincing anybody. It is not your job, and this is what pe- freaks people out, is there is this misconception that what we do is to convince people to join or buy something that they're not interested in. That is not our job, folks. Our folk, our, our focus every single day and our income-generating activity is to sift and sort people and find qualified prospects for our product and for our business. We are not here to to sell or to convince or to, you know, in an evil way, manipulate people, to evil, evilly persuade them to do something that they don't want. That's just too much pressure. It's just too, ugh. Like, that doesn't feel good to me. Does it feel good to you? Um, oh here's here's what I would do. First off is I would really seriously review your contact list. And I mean like A to Z, every single person. And I want you to re-go through and then stack it against your personally enrolled genealogy. So go pull up your report, see everyone that you personally enrolled, and you can do a cross, cross match, right? Hey, I talked to Sky, I talked to Una, I talked to Rosa, I talked to Leah, I talked to Julie, I talked to Heidi, I talked to Vicky, I talked to that, whatever. So like you have all that. And chances are you're still going to find a category that you have not had a professional conversation about the business. So you might have sent them a video a long time ago. You might have added them to a Facebook group and tagged them in a post, right? Maybe they tried a sample or maybe they were on it for a month or whatever, but you haven't actually had a professional conversation where they've seen the full story. What do I mean? Your story, the business story, and the income story, like the full kit and caboodle, like they've seen what it really is. So you're going to find still some acres of diamonds, I think, inside of your current network, right? I think it's there. One thing that you mentioned is a couple of things. You said, I'm very good at getting customers. Sounds like you're even getting customers in cold marketing and through social media. But then it's I'm the. I'm not getting loads now. I, I might have exaggerated that. I'm definitely not getting loads. I'm getting some. I'm tipping away. And I have always people, you know, interested. I'm, it's definitely not mad. But um, it, I'm still going with that. You yeah. Know? So one of the things is that you want to double down on your strengths. If you're really good at customer acquisition and you're doing five a month right now, push yourself to do 10. If you're doing eight a month right now, push yourself to do 15. If you're doing 10, double it. Do 20. Push yourself, and here's what I would recommend. Half of my distributors came as customers first. To me, customers, they are an incubation method. I expose people to the business, right, the products in the business. I involve them throughout using the products, either sampling or as a preferred customer, and then I upgrade them into the business. So I use that as an incubator. In that time is when I get to know them more. If they're cold from Facebook or Instagram, I get to build that rapport, build that relationship, share more success stories, drip on them about other products, give them education, ask them for referrals. And then I can sift and sort who in that pool of new customers, who is income-minded or commission-motivated, who's a natural promoter, who's hungry to change their life, right? Right? And I get to kind of see if they're open for that. So one of the ways that you can kind of more softly attract more distributors into your team is just to go out and get more customers. But don't view that customer as a transaction. Too many people in network marketing, they sign up the customer and then they just let them go. No, no, no. This is when the relationship begins. I send them messages the first day. Hey, here's a welcome email. I send them a little note through the app. I say, hey, by the way, this is your friends and family discount code if you want to send it out. I say, hey, text me the moment you get your box. 
because I want them to open it, try it, take it, consume it, apply it, get them using it. I ask them how they're doing. I'm I'm in front of their face. I'm coaching them through the process. Here in the U.S., we have a lot of weight loss products. So sometimes, you know, right now we did a weight loss challenge. So I've been helping them, you know, strategically with that to make sure that they're feeling good. And you know what's amazing with this process? They may never, and majority won't, become a distributor. Majority won't. But you know what? They're better customers. They're better served. They're better little uh, ambassadors for you. They're having a better experience. And the next time we have a sale and I go back around to them, they're not like, well, I haven't heard from you since I bought from you last. Why would I want to buy again? People do business with those that they know, like, and trust. So create the relationship there. You're not in charge of convincing somebody. You're just seeing if they're open to taking a look, seeing if they have something in their life, a reason, a why that would implore them to start a business. And then all your job is, is to prevent or present your experience. Cause I know this company has blessed you. I know this team has blessed you. I know the mentoring has blessed you. I know the products has blessed you, right? Fiona, this is a hundred percent accurate. You share this yeah. and you detach from the results. Yeah. I think that's my biggest issue. I'm super attached. <laughs> and how is that helping you? No. It's so painful, guys. It is unbelievably painful. You want to set yourself up for dis- for disappointment constantly in your business and basically a self-esteem, self-worth leadership dungeon. Attach your success, worth, feeling, emotion, value to their answer, to their activity, to their decision. I did a, a podcast a couple of weeks ago with my dad on the Soul CEO podcast. It's, I think it's episode 16 called Mileage. You should listen to that. It's about more invitations, less expectations, acting grateful every day. And it's this idea that we can detach from the expectation, not fully. We, we're always gonna have some expectations in life and those are okay, especially if they're clearly communicated and you know reasonable expectations. But if we start to remove ourselves, it's amazing how much less disappointment we have in all of our relationships, including the transactional ones of business. Um, But ultimately, all we're doing is sharing the gift of this company and the products and what it can offer. Not everyone's going to see it. Not everyone's going to get it. I mean, geez, even in the good book in the Bible, Jesus would end his little sermonettes and he'd say, those who have ears, let them hear. What does that mean? That means that not everyone in the crowd got it. Most of them walked away like, huh? I don't get it. And they're in the midst of the savior, right? So it's kind of that mindset like, all right, I'm going to share the message of this company. Those who have ears, let them hear. Who am I? Am I any better than God? Oh, no, no. So it's like, you know what? It's not going to be for everyone. I'm just looking for those that are looking for me. I'm looking for those that are looking for this team. I'm looking for those that are looking for these products that are looking for the benefits that come from the company, the team, and the products. And if it's a good match, if it's a good fit, we'll get going. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks, Tracy. I appreciate that.